NerdErotic.com. We'd be remiss if we did not bring up which what I think is the biggest entertainment news in a in ten years, probably since Disney bought Star Wars. Max, well, Max changing their name from HBO is freaking retarded, but announcing a Harry Potter show. Yep. That's going wow. to adapt each book per season. This is going to be the biggest thing on TV ever. The, uh, yeah. Like whatever Ooh, happens, massive. whatever fucking yes. happens, that first episode is going to be the most watched thing on cable, on streaming. Yeah. It's going to break every imaginable record. Uh, it, and like, hey, could it turn out freaking woke and gender swapped and stupid? Yes, absolutely. We'll wait for those castings. Um, mm-hmm. but, yeah, yeah, wait for those you casting. Think, you think they're going to do the same thing with Hermione that they did in the cursed? Yeah, child? That's I, my, I think that's, that's a possibility. A lot of people saying, "Hey, it's it, it's not that bad because J.K. Rowling is involved," and I'm like, "Yeah, but she is also involved in that and advocated for the race swapping mm-hmm. of Hermione." Okay, so let's yeah. let's make that clear. It's not like she pushed for the race swap. These guys race swapped it while adapting it, and she, when not- asked about it, was like, "Okay, mm-hmm. I hope that there." Are be no need to diversify or modernize i think she's probably going to want to do as direct from her books as po- humanly possible which um, are diverse if you especially if you elevate certain characters more than the movies did well I, listen, yes it's fucking 1990s uk mm-hmm. you, you have a couple black there's characters tons. at yeah. hogwarts okay yeah. you have a couple black and characters it's not just you got that. a couple there's indian characters indian like, characters asian characters they're all there they're right? all there don't change the name of Cho Chang, please. Please don't. Um. <laughs> no, Lee Jordan could have a bigger role because you're supposed to have a bigger role. So, uh, and, yeah. Dean Thomas. Dean Thomas. Actually, be at Malfoy Manor. Um, I, I would love to see Kingsley Shackable, Shackable yes. have a little bit bigger role, even though he was there definitely in the movies. He was, but, but he had a bigger role in the books, like everybody else yeah. did. You know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, so that's yeah, my hope for that. This like news is detail. freaking huge. I hope for two things. I hope this is either exactly what we want, fucking faithful adaptation of the books, or that it's the worst thing possible, that Harry Potter is trans and black. Uh, <laughs> like, the complete opposite. <laughs> yes, or the, just the complete next level opposite. Those are the only two things I want out of this. We will find out, but it's happening, and they committed to seven seasons. Wow. wow. I've been, I've been saying they need to do this. More I've been saying they need power. to do this. Because yes. the, the movies, as much as we love them, and I grew up with them for sure, they don't hold up when you read the books. There's so much left yeah. out that, that they well, need they, to put in to make Ron. the story make sense. They absolutely yeah. yes. fucking absolutely. ruin Ron, dude. Destroyed Ron. I, yeah. In Order of the Phoenix, Ron has three fucking lines. Like, every scene is... Harry has a problem, Hermione talking every fucking second, and then they look at the end of the scene to Ron and he goes, yep. That's the whole Hermione, fucking thing. They ruin Hermione him. throughout the entire film series takes all of yes. Ron's good moments. And this is mm-hmm. something that the writer said. His favorite character Hermione. is Hermione. So he gave, he, he took things from Ron and gave them to her. Things mm-hmm. like being courageous, standing up for his friends. They it took it away like from him. It's like in Prisoner of Azkaban yeah. with a broken yep. leg when he stands up on his broken leg and gets in front of Harry and tells Sirius that, like, to get to him, you're going to need to get through us. Yep. That got given well, to Hermione in the movie. Can I, can I play devil's advocate here for a minute? Now, I know Hogwarts Legacy was massive and it was huge, but the last two Harry Potter movies were pretty trash and they didn't do anything at the box office. Now I understand this is kind of getting us back to the main story. You You're mean the Fantastic the main... Beasts? Those, those yes. are not Harry Potter yes. movies. But yeah. Not Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah, they're not they Harry Potter Harry... movies. They don't take place at Hogwarts. That's that's I understand that's that, the but story. they were still they were advertised within the Harry Potter universe. Right. That they they were that was the marketing. So even from a normie standpoint like me with this universe, they that's how they were advertised. They were advertised as Harry Potter. The the, the wizarding world of Harry Potter all that shit. So right. Is this a slam dunk that it's just going to be a huge just because it's Harry Potter? I mean, legacy. Yeah, Jeremy's right. Like there, there is, there have been two failures mm-hmm. in the last three movies that they've put out in terms of the wizarding world of Harry Potter franchise, which is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The first one did well, I think, because a lot of people were hopeful that they would recapture that feeling. Although it made a lot of money, I think a lot of people were like, yeah, this isn't really what I expected. Didn't necessarily tune in for the second part. And then the third one was a massive flop. So, so those movies didn't work because they they were just in that world, but they were not Harry Potter. They were not in the spirit of it in any way, shape, or form. You had people yeah, running yeah, around across Europe and America. Yeah, and like that's everywhere. not what that's not what Harry Potter is. It takes place at Hogwarts mostly, Hogsmeade. Uh, that's that's what this entire generation grew up with. But like, uh, whether you like Harry Potter or not, like it's freaking huge. 
It's as big as Star it Wars. Is. It makes but Jeremy, it makes so much fucking money. The books mm. still sell all the time. Ho- the 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 park is packed. The, packed. This this is the first. Like I said, I, you know, it depends on the casting and the writing and everything. But either way, that first episode is going to destroy. Yes. Yeah, it, mm. it's. But it, Jeremy has a point because if that first episode, and especially the first season, if it's shit, bad, well, there you go. Mm-hmm. People would check out from it very quickly, just like they like do with Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, and well, I think power, their play exactly. is right now their play. On, being on HBO or Max, whatever the fuck, they're going for the kids that have grown up, the 30-year-olds that are that have grown up reading this, and this is a play to give it get to their, their kids. kids into it. Yeah. Get their kids into it. They're doing it on HBO, so everybody that are we adults, got, they have it, and they go, hey, kid, let's go. We're at the 20-year rule. We're at the 20-year rule right now. So, yeah, yeah that, right. that generation that grew up with this is now older, has dis- disposable income. And yeah, if they do it right, if they make it like the book in the spirit of the book, and it all depends on the showrunner. I think keep an eye on whoever they pick as a showrunner. HBO is like light years ahead of Netflix or Disney or anybody else when it comes to producing a television show. They've been doing it for, it's right, be for a long time. It's going to be interesting to see what they do thematically. Like how did how are they going to change the feel of it? Because I, I a think lot they're going to try to keep it as similar in. as possible to the movies, which is kind of crazy. I think they're right, going to yeah, try. How to, are they going to do that? I mean, they still have a lot of the sets and everything. They can use the same sets. I would argue, leave Hogwarts the same. Use the same yeah, they sets you did. What like, about the music? music? Make everything music, feel. font, all that, like we talked about. Like, like, gamers. Yeah, in no. fact, like use the entire layout that Hogwarts Legacy did. You basically make the oh, whole yeah. thing, and then uh, you can have parts of Hogwarts that people have never what seen was, before. And... What was really great about Hogwarts Legacy is that it had the feel of the movies, but it was different. Yes. It had its own thing, but you still felt like the music felt similar enough to where it was like in that world. Uh, yeah, and you're, you were going through classrooms that looked familiar. You looked were going through a, a courtyard that looked familiar. Wait a minute. Bridge. You yeah. mean like, you yeah. mean the Mandalorian with its stupid fucking music is not a good idea? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is 100% John Williams. John Williams has that staying power. When he puts his music on something... You can't change it. Indiana Jones without John Williams isn't Indiana Jones. Star Wars without John Williams is not Star Wars. So Harry Potter hey, I is going to be very hard. I agree. Superman without John Williams score is Superman. not Superman. Thank you. Man of Steel Superman is not a without... Superman movie. Fuck that movie. <laughs> and then they br- anyway. they brought it in to make you go, oh, yeah, remember remember Superman? That's when you felt it connect is whenever his music came in. So it would be interesting to see if they bring the Harry Potter theme back in. But- they Even have when they to. announced it, they, they, they gave us one announcement on HBO Max, which is turning into Max, the place hmm. to watch HBO, and they gave us boom, 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 right. boom. They Fox gave us the theme song and they showed Hogwarts. us this picture of Hogwarts. Like they're they're trying to go. It's for being that produced. Same. It's being produced by the same company. Essentially, it's Warner Brothers. So they have yeah. all the rights to all that shit. And uh, yeah, it, it'd be dumb to change it. The aesthetics of it completely dumb mm-hmm. and well, also it all it's all tied into the... universal and i think they want to keep all of the theming yes right. that, yeah, there's that, that, too. That, mm-hmm. that exactly right because you have universal this i mean again as a harry potter normie you can you know that it just that mm. screams harry potter as soon as you walk mm. into that world whereas star wars land screams iraq so it's just, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> they they want post invasion <laughs> yeah, there are definitely ways to change it like i said with hogwarts iraq. legacy but staying within that same kind of theme and that where well, the, the parks will 100 percent mm-hmm. need to stay within that theme of the show they actually yeah. would be changing hogwarts from the first film because hogwarts wasn't defined in the first film like it was in the last film and so Correct. if they make it consistent and actually mm-hmm. have the the design of hogwarts nailed down from the beginning they will change it but it'll be what people have come to identify it, right, what yeah. it evolved is. a lot in prisoner of azkaban I, uh prisoner of azkaban they started doing it a lot and you even saw a lot of those establishing shots to show the whomping willow in different yep. seasons they mm-hmm. started showing you where things are located. Yeah, that's kind hut. of the template that yep. they took yep. moving forward. Whereas the first, mm-hmm. you're 100 percent right. The first two, mm-hmm. Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets, were not exactly like that. Yeah. I, I, there's two things. There's two things to this. Whoever the showrunner is, are they going to fold to the pressure? Because you know the mob is going to be screaming about this. This going to be higher series. Are. They are going to be. They're going to be relentless, especially after they failed to have any impact on Hogwarts Legacy. Um. So they're going to be screaming. <laughs> and then secondly. I really, really hope that the success of the Mario movie shows people to stick to the basics of whatever universe you are adapting 
just stick to the basics. You don't need to change anything. Yep. And Harry Potter is a classic example of that. You don't need to appeal to anyone. You already have everyone. It's yes. Just the, 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 there's know? no question that Harry Potter has mass appeal across all demographics. Yes. Uh, just like Doctor Who did, just like Marvel Comics, just mm -hmm. like everything did before. It was always yeah. accessible. And it's really like that's the thing at the heart of its story. Harry Potter, like the the villains are very fucking like racist, judgmental people. Not racist, but you know, prejudiced. <laughs> you know, against yeah. Muggleborns. So like the the idea that they're attacking this story is the craziest thing yeah. too. And there's there's stuff in there with the house elves and the story about the house, all this shit. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I think that it's a risk because the movies are really well liked and respected. Even like from even people that love the books still like the movies uh some people love the movies never read the book a fucking day in their lives the idea of rebooting the idea of seeing a different hagrid the idea of seeing a different mcgonagall a different snape those Dumbledore. might even be like crazier things than seeing a new harry ron and hermione yep because those so, are yeah. characters that people grew up with and they felt like a, they they felt like a almost a paternal relationship with them at times so Good luck. It's, it's they, they need sure things right now. So that's why they're going back to, you know, like House of the Dragon was a huge risk, too. Even with Corliss Valerion, right? They race swapped him. And uh, I was like, how are you doing this? Because in the story, you know, he's a white guy. There's a paternity issue. Uh, but they made it work. They made they they, made they it wrote it into the show and, and they made better. it part of the show. And it actually did make it better because it makes it like it's very much the king. Sorry, out in the open. Yeah. 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 The, I'm, the unspoken truth. So if they if HBO yeah. approaches it like that, then we'll see. But they they know they sh don't fucking race swap anybody for this show. There's enough diversity in fucking. They're Harry gonna. Potter. They're absolutely going to. They, oh. I promise you, they're going to. But uh, I reckon it'll be Hermione. Brown. It can't be Lavender Ron. Brown. It, can't be Ron. it can't be the Weasleys. Ryan and I talked about this. They are the most described family in the in outside of Harry in they're the entire book though. series. Well, they, yeah. it doesn't matter that they're the most though. described. What matters is that they're the poorest family. They're not going to race swap <laughs> the poor family. <laughs> That's true. Nerdrotic.com. Please subscribe. Hey, if you like what we do here at Nerdrotic Daily, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could do that with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.